This is the home page of the dashboard. It is divided into four sections, which are Chatter, ITSM, Overview, and Sentiment Analysis. The three visuals you see below are trending keywords by frequency, trending keywords by negative sentiment score, and overall chatter sentiment in the middle. To be consistent with this presentation, the trending keywords are only based on the data of one of the users from the scenario we introduced earlier. So as you can see here, his top trending keywords by frequency are BSA and time, each with three posts. Additionally, his posts have an overall negative sentiment based on the post sentiment chart and the trending keywords by negative sentiment score. Now let's take a look at the details of the chatter data. Here is the overall view of the chatter page. As you can see, we have charts for posts and comments by year and month, posts and comments by users, some group statistics, and user impact, which is statistics on how active and influential a user is. So now, let's take a look at some real example. Let's check out Chris Pearson's data. From here, we see that Chris was most active in Chatter in 2012. He has created a total of 353 posts and a total of 313 comments. And down below, we see the list of all the groups that he is a member of. And lastly, here is his influence rank in Chatter. Now, if we click on a group that Chris is a part of, such as all BMC, we can see his posts and comments specific to that group. If we want to see just all BMC's group statistics, we can remove the user filter and now we see posts and comments in all BMC over time, the group's member count, and the most active and influential members in the group. Now let's go back to the home page and look at the overview section. Here you can view a user's chatter posts and incident tickets by date, incident type, and post type. Going with our previous example, if we type in Chris Pearson's name in the user box, we can see all his chatter posts on the right and his tickets on the left. Up here, I can see he created most of his tickets in April 2013. When I drill down further, I can see how many tickets he created on specific days in April. So on April 1st, he created these four tickets. Similarly, he, had, he made the most chatter posts in 2012, specifically November 2012. And on November 20th, for example, we can see he made these five posts right here. Now if I want to see all of Chris's tickets that are request, uh, I first need to clear out all the filters I don't need. So I can clear out everything till I have just Chris's name, and then I can go ahead and select user request in the incident type box and it'll show me that Chris had six user request tickets right here. Now if I select any one of them, let's take the VPN for example, I can see that this request was made on July 12th, 2013 and that the ticket priority was medium. So now that we've seen the overview, let's look at the sentiment analysis section. This page shows you the sentiment and chatter grouped by business and technical services. At the same time, you can see the number of incidents in ITSM about, the about that business service. 
Here you can see that out of the business services, networking and collaboration automation have the most posts with negative sentiment. Let's look closely at collaboration automation since it has a higher number of incidents in ITSM. Now when I click on collaboration automation, I see a similar chart, but this time it's grouped by technical services under collaboration automation. When I look under MSM Info Center, I can see the breakdown of how many posts are negative and how many posts are positive about that service. If I want to see the exact posts about MSM, I can go over here to the Details tab and it'll show me the actual chatter posts and the dates they were created. Now MSM doesn't have incident tickets associated with it, but if it did, it would show it over here as well. Lastly, let's see the ITSM section of the dashboard. On a high level, the ITSM page shows us the number of incidents by date, current status, technical service, and resolution method. So right now the highest number of incidents are under BSM ITSM. If I click on that technical service, I can see the percentage of closed and canceled tickets and the type of resolutions for that service. Uh, for BSM ITSM in particular, the three most common types of resolutions were on-site support, access granted, and problem change management. Above here, I can see the dates these occurred at. And that concludes our demo.